Our First Night in Nepal by Mrs. Turner My son Drew and I left for Kathmandu, Nepal a few days earlier than the rest of our family so we could get ready for school. When we got to the Kathmandu airport, it was small and full of people everywhere. We were exhausted, excited, and overwhelmed all at the same time. Through the wall of chaos, we lugged all of our bags to the street and found our driver, Kieran, who would take us to our new house. When we arrived at our new house, it felt a little empty, but I was ready to start this new adventure called Nepal. Knowing we had school the next day, we decided to settle in and rest. Drew and I thought we would both sleep on the top floor so it wouldn't feel so lonely the first night in a new country. We were just feeling relaxed when all of a sudden we heard an awful loud chirping, screaming noise. We jumped up and looked at each other with wide eyes. What was that? Then we heard it again. My heart was racing faster and faster. We began to look in the closets for a trapped animal. I thought it sounded like a strange bird monkey from the Wizard of Oz. We couldn't find anything, so we decided just to go back to bed and try to settle in. Drew and I closed all the doors and locked ourselves in the top room, and we fell asleep until the next morning. We did not sleep much that first night in Nepal, and to this day we have no idea what kept us awake that night. What do you think it was?